What's going on guys? I'm Dan. This is Cindy Waters and today I have a haul from you from Alexandria Fragrances. But before we go any further, how about you hit that like button, hit the subscribe and hit that bell. So one of the houses that has been making a big trailblaze in this community is Alexandria Fragrances. And you know what? They have good product. I can't deny it. There's some fragrances that I don't like, but there's a lot of fragrances that I do. And one thing I can't say is that they're bad quality. So I keep on buying their stuff. Within the past few months, I've bought quite a few fragrances, some that I haven't even made a review about yet, but I figured I'd make a haul to show you what fragrances I have. And I actually have more fragrances coming. I think I, this should be in here in a couple days. I figured I'd show you a few fragrances that I've gotten from them in the short amount of time within the past month, month and a half. And these fragrances are in no particular order, but here we go. First fragrance, Gourmand Kiss, which is their interpretation of Fev Delicios, Delicious, whatever, from Dior. Very sweet, powdery, leans kind of feminine, a man can rock it as well. Next fragrance is Africano, which is their take on Byredo's Balde Afrique. I actually smell Balde Afrique and smell this. They actually smell very close to each other, very close. If you want me to do a review on these, let me know. Any of these fragrances that I'm showing you right now, let me know at the comment section if you want me to make a review on them or not. Next pickup from Alexandra Fragrances is Zion, which is their take on Elysium. Which one, I don't know just yet. I'd have to look it up, but Zion. I also have Duo's version, which I think is Supernova. Very, very, very similar fragrances. Next one is Hawaii Volcano Intense. Their take on Creed's Virgin Island Water. I'm gonna make a review on this one, so I'm not gonna even say much on this one. There's a review already being made. Next fragrance is Ombre Noir, which is their take on YSL's La Nuit de Long. Honestly, I smelled them both. Not bad, not bad. Kind of powdery, just like YSL's La Nuit de Long, but smells a little bit different but respectively, smells very good. Next pickup was Royal Equestrian, which is their take on Parfums de Marley's Layton. I think this is actually another great fragrance. Another one I'm doing a review on, can't really say much just yet. Next fragrance, Orange County, which is their take on a popular Terre de Hermes fragrance. This one is a nice, smooth, citrusy fragrance. Honestly, I haven't smelled any Terre de Hermes fragrances, but this one, a good one. Good summer, springtime fragrance. And last but certainly not least, Pickup from Alexandria Fragrance was Dark Knight. Their take on by Killian's Black Phantom. I don't have Black Phantom to compare this one, but Big Beard B did his review on this one and he said they're honestly really, really similar. Nice coffee, caramel, slight chocolate type of vibe. Now to be completely honest, at first Dark Knight, I really didn't care for it. When it sat on my skin, it really didn't, it didn't really vibe with me that well. It had like more of a sour note to it. Don't know what that was coming from. Maybe it was just me not used to coffee based fragrances, but after wearing it a while, actually it ended up liking it. I had my son wear it. I wore it a little bit more just to give it more of a chance because I was ready to give this a bad review to be completely honest when it came to notes, for me at least. But after wearing it like for the second day and having my son wear it, I actually love this fragrance a lot. This is one fragrance I feel that if you like those gourmandish type fragrances, dark gourmandish type fragrances, this one right here would be for you. At first you probably won't like it, but if you wear it a little bit longer, it might wear on you, who knows? You might still not like it. But me personally, I like this fragrance a lot. So that was my little fragrance haul from Alexandria Fragrances, which I like once again, like I said at the beginning, I do have more fragrances coming in. Another three I think is Bazooka, which is their take on Spice Bomb. Uh, Apple Crumb, which is their take on Parfums de Marley Wojan or Aujan, whatever it's called. And uh, The Extreme or Extreme, which is their take on Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Do you guys have a little haul? Do you guys have a little collection of Alexandria fragrances. If you do, what fragrances do you have? Do you have any coming in? Do you plan on ordering? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I was shopping it up with Handy not too long ago and I said, you know what? Can you hook my viewers up with a little something something? He said, say no more King, I got you. So what Handy so graciously did, gave me a discount code to give to you guys for 20% off. Discount code being S Waters. My little signature. So hopefully you guys use this discount code so you can save some money on some great fragrances, great interpretations of fragrances. And let me know what you think when you do get them. You know what, these are all great scents, but at the end of the day, they're still scented water. 